I am doing a university essentials video. Basically, I bought quite a few things um, ready for myself going to university because I got in. Um, as I said in the last video, basically, I'm just going to go for it. Uh, there's a few things I haven't got yet because they're still my essentials that I need to get, but I've got most of them. Things that people might not have thought about and um, that they might need. So, first things first. Uh, obviously you're going to be going to a lot of lectures if you're going to uni um, or one on one or like small classes so basically like notepads um, are very necessary this one I got from WH Smith uh, last year and it's a 300 page refill book that you can just write in and you rip the pages out but this one that I've just got is so much better because it's 200 pages yeah I know it's less than the other one but it was on sale it was only two pound um, and it has this kind of page so it's easy to write in and you can just rip the pages out um, and put them in your folders so moving on quite swiftly from this folders so basically I'm expecting you to have thought about folders but um, ones like these basically the big big ring binder ones are better for your work and I know that I'm going to have a lot of different subcategories in my um, degree the same as a lot of people will have so having a few different folders will be good if you can get smaller ones that's good as well because I've got a few small ones um, ring binders these big ring binder ones I have got for like the big subjects like um, script writing kind of things I'm thinking would be more on paper and if you're going to have folders you might as well have dividers because um, even if it is that you have these um, <laughs> sub subjects and you don't have much work for each of them there's no point having a folder for everyone having like, a tiny bit of work in every folder so yeah just split it up into sections um, next pencil cases so I got this pencil case from Jack World a few years ago and this one is from an advent calendar last year that I got. Next, you need pens. You write with pens anywhere and if you're going to lectures with notepads and stuff like that, you're going to need pens. I got these from The Works and I got all these for £4, I think. It was £4 or £3. And because I've watched so many like university videos, of people who are already going to university, they say they use coloured pens to uh, make notes on on papers and lectures and stuff that they've been given from their teachers. So they have loads of black pens, a few different coloured ones. It also helps you to revise when it comes to exam time, so that would be good. Of course, another thing I use um, to make parts of my work stand out for trying to remember them and things are highlighters. So these highlighters. You can get them pretty much anywhere because they're your regular colours. I've got these ones and I've also got liquid highlighters. So these ones have got liquid inside rather than just your normal highlighter. But it means they're harder to go on and they probably go through your page. So I'd probably just get a normal highlighter then than those ones. If you want to keep track of like things you're working on, you want to add notes to your pages of like, I need to get this page done by Friday, I need to get this page done by Monday, something like that. You, you're going to need some, oh man, what are they called? I can't even remember what they're called. <laughs> anyway, you're going to need these sticky notes. Oh, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but anyway, I've got a small pass that I actually got in school, so quite a few years ago. It has a few little ones, so you stick them on the page, they don't make, take up much space. And you can just have an arrow to like a certain line that you need to remember, quotes, whatever, put it on there, easy to get to. Right, so obviously you're going to need a safety pack. <laughs> I thought, I don't know, I just call this like my, my bag that I just take everywhere with me because it has pencils, lozenges, these were like you, when you have to pay for paper to print things off. Headphones, lip gloss, hair slides, and um, like tablets. So basically, the whole that's in there, you don't have to faff about on the morning getting things ready. You just put it in your bag and it's all done. Um, 
obviously when you need pencils you need rubbers I got these a few years ago as well and I've never used them but anyway, the little lollies, ice creams next because when we get to uni in September it's getting a bit more like autumn, winter, cold weather, scarf time I want to wear gloves and things I think a good idea would be a hand warmer um, so basically the hand warmer just has a little um, pack inside that you um, heat in the pan of hot water <laughs> and it like melts down and goes warm so you can use it and put it in here so it doesn't burn your hands and then once it goes cold you can just click this button and it heats up again so you've got that for like the whole day if it's that you want to keep warm for the whole day and leading on from hand things as hand sanitizer so <laughs> I think a lot of the time when I'm going to uni, I'm going to be having a packed lunch, a lunch in there and I'm going to have nowhere that is going to have toilets. This is just antibacterial hand gel and I got this from Superdrug. Basically, this will keep me going for a little while. This was 99 pence. <laughs> yeah, I'll be using that quite a lot. Also, if you want to um, keep track of everything, homework, etc. Planners are a very good idea. Uh, this one I got for my birthday says um, she's got plans, <laughs> and it says 29 on it because it's like it starts in it started in June and it ends end of December 2019. So yeah, it's pretty cute. And this one I got from Paper Chase for. I bought it. it was £12 but I think I got it for 6 in the sale um, and it's basically a magnetic one that you just click. So I'll be using these for different things. I think I'll use this one for uni work and this one for like home things like plans that I've got when I'm not at uni. Kind of keep track of things because there's no point putting the same thing in both planners. <laughs> Right, next, moving on. If you're going to be driving in the car to university, like I will be, because I'm staying at home, I'm not in holes or anything, I am going to be taking this. So, it's obviously like a phone holder for any car, and it just suctions onto the screen. I'm probably have that way. Suctions onto the screen, and um, you put your phone in there. I don't know how well I'll be able to find places, obviously car parks and stuff. If I'm not able to find them, I'll put them on... Um, like on my phone so I don't have that now. And of course when you're also going to lectures if you don't like writing or a notepad with a pen a laptop will come in very handy. Um this is not the laptop I'm thinking of taking to university because it's quite heavy um and you want lightweight things. I still need to get a laptop case. Um, my brother's got one and he's already at university so I know that it's good and obviously you need lightweight things so you want a lightweight um, laptop and a lightweight laptop holder, carrier, whatever you want to call it um, because when you're going in and out of lectures you want to just have it um, you have it over your shoulder you just carry it in your hand and you can just carry your notepads and your laptop and everything that you need in, in your laptop bag and that's it. <laughs> So I still need to get one of those. Obviously you can get them in all shapes and sizes depending on what you need. Um, I do not have that. Will be one of my essentials is a travel mug for the car or for wherever I need it because I'm a cold person. <laughs> right, okay. You can get them kind of cheap from multiple places. I've been looking in TK Maxx and on Amazon. Um, but... I just need to find a good one, uh, obviously. I've been talking for like 15 minutes straight, come on. Oh. Obviously, I can have hot drinks or cold drinks, so when it comes to summer, I keep it hot, whatever. Um, and I can easily fill it up and it shut, and I can just put it in the cup holder in the car, drive there, take it out, take it in lectures, have a drink, keep myself warm on those cold days. Also, Right, so this is the kind of cup I was talking about. Um, it's two days after I filmed, but this is what I got. It's a slidey lid, and it'll easily fit in my car holder. It was only £4.50 from Asda. It is a Thermal Cafe by Thermos One. Yeah, 
a travel mug can also help because you're not having to take in plastic bottles and it's helping the environment which I am all about recently and uh, also <laughs> helping the environment a lot and um, take your own bag obviously I'm taking my own bag in my car if I need to buy anything well I'll put it in my own bag but it's just a material bag so when you go to the shops you don't have to buy a plastic bag you just use your own things and you feel all organised with one of these bags, which is good. Okay. Taking to places from the car parks or from your halls of residence, um, some headphones or earphones because a lot of teenagers these days listen to music. Um, for example, I do a lot. Um, it keeps me motivated. It keeps me um, wanting to do stuff, get things done. Uh, I walk faster when I'm listening to music because I usually walk with the beat. <laughs> so um, I've got some beats. <laughs> walk with the beat. Um, I got these for Christmas and I just use them uh, whenever I need to. But thing um, right now. Um, if you think of any others, just let me know. Um, because I can think of those right now. I've got I've done quite a few. Okay, for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>